All right, everyone, this is Brian again, hanging out. We're going to open up this box. We just got that at our card shop in Canton called IRL Games, thanks to Tim for hooking us up with this. We're going to open up our Seven Kings of the Lands box, see what we get. Anything in particular you're hoping to get out of here, Jack? All right, so we're just looking for just about anything. Good deals are good deals, we're not going to lie. Alright, pack one. Skip to the back. We have one of our regalia and a stamped behemoth. Alright, we're going to our next. Skip to the back. We have a deep blue. And we have a foil forbidden spell of the undead lord. Alright. I know I wouldn't mind seeing some nice stamped regalia. Those cards are pretty sweet looking. We have Ouroboros and a power supply team. And I was very happy with uh, the nice stamped scythe I got from the box I opened for myself. I personally said to myself, oh god, I cannot buy this set. I do not like this set. Going into our first tournament at the Time Machine, I caved, I bought a box. We have our Beast, the <laughs> Retta Tosker, <laughs> and a Blessed Holy Wolf. In case you can or can't hear it, I have hilarious people in the background yelling absolute nonsense at each other. But it's pretty cool because we're used to that. We have another behemoth. Followed by a, ooh, a stamped Medusa, the dead eye of petrification. Oh, just look at that. That's beautiful. Same artist that did Cheshire. Hmm? Same artist that did Cheshire. This is the same artist that did our half-naked Cheshire cat friend? Yes. Uh, I can see the similarities, yeah. Colors, mostly. But, uh, it's not a half-naked Cheshire cat. We have a Zun Q. The sacred beast, our little phoenix friend. If only it actually had flying. And we have a foil protective barrier. I think it's worse that Joe was recording himself opening stuff. Oh, we missed our <laughs> Zon Wu of, again, the four sacred beasts. We got our nice big turtle dude. <laughs> we have another deep blue, the Phantom Board, along with, hey look, a stamped Zun Wu. For all of you who can't see, Jack is so happy about that. <laughs> Alright, we'll scoot to the back. We have a Phantom of... Primogenitor. We have a foil clockwork scout plane. And we have our far Faria, the ruler of God Sword. Look, she's got a bird. Fair enough. <laughs> Is Blazer in this one? Yeah. Oh! Really? Okay, well. Oh, we have Mary Bell, the Steel Doll, and an Artemis, the God Bow. Again, regalia are good. Those are going to be those cards that just like, why did anyone ever print a zero drop? Does everyone remember Memnites and Ornithopters? Because zero drops, nah, nah. No one ever wants a zero drop. What's a zero drop ever done for anybody besides, you know, usually just break something? We have Merlin, the Wizard of Distress. And we have a foil Ouroboros. Yeah, blazer would be cool. Get a nice stamped blazer. I don't even think I've seen a stamped blazer yet. We have a 
another Zun Q. Again, if only it could fly. Cinderella, the Valkyrie of the Glass. And a Alice's Little Assault Force. I honestly like the artwork on this card. I don't know how I feel about it yet. We have a Horn of the Sacred Beasts. Ooh, I actually like that windstone. It has an interesting shape to it. And we have Niflheim, the Realm of the Dead. You like zombies? We heard you like zombies. So we made them stronger. By who? The Sacred Beast. Because who doesn't need more Sacred Beasts? Waterstone and Persephone. Ugh. I do love the artwork on that card. It's almost like she's wearing nothing. Don't worry, the dress only creates the illusion of sex. We have Invigoration of the Winged Lord, followed by Underground Dragger. Stealth is that interesting new mechanic. see where we are about halfway through this box. Let's get to the back, and we have Charm of the Princess. Very charming. Very charming. <laughs> Drag the Red Dragon, would have been a little, a little happier with a foil Gwyber. Kind of like that card. I feel like playing a dragon on turn two or three is a good thing. Flying 12-12s, they're fair. Flying 12-12s are pretty fair. Oh, we have another, <laughs> I'm going to mess up this pronunciation and not care. We have a uh, Gleipner, <laughs> the Red Binding of Fate. <laughs> we have Quinglong, the Sacred Beast, followed by a Foil Give Wings. You want to fly? I'll let you fly for a turn. Feel free to comment, Jack. I'm so upset so far. <laughs> yeah, this is... I've seen one ruler out of the two to three you might get in a box. Kind of... Not, eh. not happy. Sisay, the Ancient Forest. Isn't Fairy the one you can get in the Precon? In a Foil Merlin. So now I yeah. Have, I literally have a place out of that. The only thing that I have one which is Foil, then I'm going to pull out the Fairy from this deck. So yeah. that's been the reason that I have that. I like her art from the... The original? From the or box. from the new one? Oh, yeah, from the Precon? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's like I said, I am not the biggest fan of this set. We have another of the same regalia. Followed by another foil forbidden spell of the Undead Lord. <laughs> I hit a blaze out of Dude, I'm hoping we just get a stand blazer, and then then I'm just gonna take it and pretend you didn't open it and I didn't record that. But yeah, whatever. Mary Bell. Yeah. Mary Bell is Steel Doll. Yeah. I know a way to take it. By who? The Sacred Beast. I'll take full Sacred Beast all day. Yeah, full Sacred Beasts are nice. Uh, I still want to see a deck that's running them. Even if. Have one in my box. Did you actually did you actually get the chick for her? Yeah. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. How many colors are you running for it? Um, since she can tap for any of it, I have Shangri La. Oh, 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 oh! Hey. Called it. Yes. Called yes. it. This is going on right. YouTube. I have so, proof. <laughs> it happened. For everyone who doesn't doesn't know, I am going to officially be claiming this card as my own because. No, Why no, not? There's no fee for this. <laughs> oh my god, that is that is pretty sexy. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Dude, I can see that you're close to that, but I'm not really sure. 
I'm pretty I'm pretty sure our friend Jack just exploded all over the wall, everybody. Uh, this mess is gonna take. Uh, yes. Yes. Whoa! Is, where's the, oh? It's on the other side. God pack. Is it? Is that why? Side, it's God pack. Is that why that? How that yeah, works? That is. All right. Let's look at the back card. Oh. Oh, not stamped, but still God pack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bedivere. Fair be enough. Just a foil God pack, but still. Celestial Wing Seraph. God pack's a God pack. Ouroboros. Come on, let's get let's get some good stuff. Here. Snow hey, White, Snow White. the Valkyrie. Passion. Cinderella, the Valkyrie of Glass. <laughs> Medusa, the nice. Dead Eye of nice. Petrification. Yeah. Quinn Long, the Sacred Beast. Well, we know the last card is Persephone, so... And a Rata Skur, the Sacred Beast card. of Yggdrasil, and... <laughs> Arthur, the Dead Lord of Vengeance. And, and again, we have Persephone in the back. Who, again, That's pretty sweet. I love yeah, that artwork. God Pack, God Pack. God, pack. God yeah. Packs or God Packs? Number five. And a Stamp Blazer. Oh my god. What I, stamp? Just, I, I did not see a Stamp Blazer. I don't know what you're talking about. There is no stamp blazer in this box. Aren't you glad that I did not see the person here? slash your tires? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh God, we don't need him to back into my car again. Speaking of Joe, Joe really wants the death scythe, so there's a death scythe. Everybody does. Followed by War Dance of the Valkyries. Meh. Meh. I still want that playmat with those chicks on it. I still think it looks amazing. Jeremy has it. Jeremy's probably not gonna use it. And if we do another sealed event, Jeremy might win again with the hunt man. Well, it could happen. Second play mat. Oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, Alright, skip to the back. We have Invigoration of the Winged Lord with a foil celestial wing seraph. I still really like this card for everything it is. Could be stronger, but again the artwork is also just amazing. Yeah, the artwork's pretty sweet on that. Got a little nice boobage going on. <coughs> oh, it is like a card game. Yeah, it's almost like this card game was made for, like, guys or something. Almost. Go to the back. We have a Forbidden Spell of the Undead Lord again. Hey. And, uh, uh, what's that behind it? It's, it's got a nice little foil to it. It's <gasps> a foil Quing Long. Stamped. Sweet. You got a nice little stamp there. Two stamped Sacred Beasts. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll get a blazer this box. Who knows? I haven't seen one yet, so, um... The the hope is still there. Yeah. Get to the back. We have another Sese, the Ancient Forest. Meh. Meh. Followed by a foil stamp Shangri La. I knew that. <laughs> that was made for The artwork on that if is we nice though. That, I would have three working tokens in place out of four foil stamps. Wow. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I need it. See, this is one of those games that, like, I know not everyone's a foil person, but, that but those foil people that are foil stamp. people, oh my god. Yeah. We Not have jerk. Phantom of the <laughs> Primogenitor, Medusa, the Dead Eye of Petrification, and Flame Cat. Hey. Flame Cat. I don't know, 5 4 first strike. Is it's a magical beast. It is a magical beast. Puff the Magical Beast. And by beast, I mean dragon. <laughs> really, Greg, what does that song mean? <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. It's, just a, it's just a song about a boy named Puff and his magical dragon. They animated it. Jean Wu. There's a book about that with a CD, and the dude sings the entire thing. Oh, Cess A, the Ancient Forest, Foil Stamps. I'm okay with that. I Imagine know. if that God Pack was stamped. That's a box. I mean, oh. with all the beast stuff you're getting, you're, you know, you might as well get a Chrissy in where you're at. Yeah, I know. Dude, I get Who? built. Chrissy. Yeah. She's the one that Chrissy? builds the sacred the beast. Lady. Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. And I could, like, play her now, and yeah, I could play six. Artemis the God's so bow. Another spirit Girl. beast. And we have Heat Gaze. The Heat Gaze. Dun dun dun. So much. I actually took the squirrels out of that pack. Probably the correct decision. Yeah. I mean, a lot of small drops to go with. Goodbye, guys. Yeah. Good night. Good night. And the beasts aren't small drops unless you're really upset or anything. Forbidden spell of the Undead Lord. Yeah. Waterstone, 
and another behemoth. Foil. Twelve apostles. Regular foil. Regular foil. He's really annoying. He deals damage to a creature. Whenever this card deals damage to a resignator while attacking, it deals that much damage to your opponent. Okay. It's a 15-15. Okay. Yeah, it does things. It's got a redirect damage or something. Death Scythe of the Life Reaper. I almost just dropped that entire stack of cards. That would have been awkward. We have special armor because it's special. AKA Totem Armor. <laughs> Totem Armor was so good in the limited format. And then you put it into EDH. It's like, how many board wipes do we have in EDH? Oh, okay, my creatures live. We have Heavenly Garden of Armala. Darkness Magic Stone, followed by huh, another Bedivere. The Restorer of Souls. I'll take all the four Bedivere back up. What's this card? Uh, target attack. When this card enters the field, you may remove target resonator with 1,000 or more attack from the game. Okay, I can see this card going places. Especially with in the Knight's deck, because you can do it. Yeah, because he's a knight of the round table. He's a knight of the round table, indeed. I haven't really looked into the whole knight synergy yet, but Boros Knights sounds like it's going to be pretty beast. Well, especially with Blazers, so you don't have to worry about your... your hey, look, my mana taps whatever color I want. By whatever color I want, I mean red. Horn of the Sacred Beasts. Which also makes your set tap. Good. And the Dark Eye of Blindness, your ale. I probably didn't say that right, but who cares? We got a sand blazer in this pack. Where? When did we get that? Dude, I think you're seeing things. I think you're thinking things. Oh, I'm thinking a lot of things. I should send a picture of that to Joe. Oh, yeah, totally do it. Yeah. Death Scythe of Life Reaper? Come on, Why give me, not? Give me one more sec, two play sets. Zon Q. Ooh, a flame phoenix. Again, this card is pretty cool. Like Why does a phoenix not have flying, though? Let's be 100% honest. We're approaching our last three packs. We'll see what we have. Maybe it's just a chicken. Could be. I don't know. You put a chicken. You, I'm pretty sure you put enough pressure on a chicken. It might start flying. Niflheim. Pump those zombies. Order of the Sacred Queen. And ooh, is that yeah. that is that the relevant one? That's yes. the forty dollar one. Oh, I don't I don't see a card. <laughs> yeah. Quick, everyone, scan that QR code before Jack gets to it. Don't worry. <laughs> I don't have Apple, so I can't scan it. Alice, that. the Valkyrie of Fairy Tales. She's actually only 15. Oh, she's only 15? She drops. Alice, the girl in the looking glass. Just wait till somebody plays it. Well, we all know how stock cards mad, uh, right. cards are. The thing is that with her... When this card enters the Cinderella, field, you search your main deck for a fairy tale resonator, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your main deck. Counters on fairy tales you control can't be removed by effects. Okay. Cinderella with the glass token... That Cinderella, glass token, Snow, Snow White, White, and her dumb tokens. Right. You don't have to remove those anymore, so she keeps stacking them. Oh, until God. you start swinging for stupid damage. Okay, that is... Hashtag stone to death. Yes, yeah, stone to death for work. Yeah. It will. Invigoration of the Winged Lord. Foil Blessing of Yggdrasil. Hey, look, we have Sweet. our other Alice. Alice, That's the Saint of Healing. Rulers, one box. There were only three rulers. I don't know what you're talking about. We didn't open a blazer. There was no blazer in this stand box. Oh, we did not open that. Bro. You're right. We did not open a stand blazer in this box. We approach our last pack. All right. So the first half of this box blue letters. Yeah. So pretty good box. Really uh, really yeah. To put, uh, I guess not so gently. The first half of this box did kind of blow. Charm of the Princess. Me. I do like those firestones the best, though. It's pretty sweet. A little. Oh, yeah, yeah. And our last card is another underground dragger. Pretty sweet. All right, so that was our box of the seven kings of the land. And we totally did not open this card, so don't worry about it, Jack. You don't need to, you don't need to slash my tires or anything. You nope. said he'd be slashing your tires. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you all for watching. This was Brian with my buddies Jack and Jack. Peace.